Hi, everybody. An incredible thing happened at one of our higher ground clubs, and these are the after-school Bible clubs in our uh, junior high school. I want to introduce you to Robert Sepulveda, and an, an amazing thing happened at the club. We thought it'd be great that uh, you found out exactly what happened. You've been at that club for how many years? Um, this is my fourth year there. Fourth year, and this is grades seven and eight. Um, right, Middle And school. And you go there once a week, Right, on Wednesdays. You and Isaiah have been doing this club now for three weeks, two weeks? Um, this is, that was our second week there. Our second week. Right. And just tell us what happened. Well, um, Isaiah gave me an opportunity to do the lesson, and I felt just led to bring that evangelical message to them. Um, you know, a lot of these kids are unchurched. They don't go to church anywhere, so they need to hear about Jesus, and they need to be invited to follow Jesus. So I... Um, Went there and gave them the lesson as out of John 3, which is very basic. Um, you must be born again. Um, and the kids were really listening. I mean, these are junior hires. We had about 50 of them. So uh, to get them to really listen sometimes is, is tough. But they mm -hmm. were really listening. And I just, you know, I picked up on that. that well, that's, and, and that's why it's so important for us to pray. When, when we go into these, when our church, you, go into a situation like this, the Holy Spirit needs to be there. Oh yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, to get the kids' attention, because uh, you're not a professional speaker, you don't probably know a lot of jokes, and you, you know, you're not a, a magician. It's you're not going to hold their attention right. unless the Holy Spirit's there. So I, I'm sorry I, I interrupted, but so I gave a lesson, and the kids were really listening. Um, so I went into the invitation time, and I told the kids, I know a lot of you here don't know Jesus yet, mm -hmm. you have never chosen to follow Him. So I'm going to ask some of you right now uh, to come forward if you want to follow Jesus. And then off to my left, the little girl said, what did you say? And I thought, I said, come forward if you want to follow Jesus. And with that, all of them came forward. All 50. All 50 came forward. All 50. Forward. All right. So that was, that was pretty intense. So I, I took him through a, a prayer, a sinner's prayer, um, and as I was... I said, repeat after me. And as I was hearing them, as we went through the prayer, their voices just got louder and louder and louder. I'm like, wow. Um, so at the end of that, I'm like, okay, <laughs> what now? I needed a little, little bit of reassuring. So I thought, you know, I'm going to take him and, and do something else. I said, look, you know, remember what Philippians 2.10 says, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. So I asked them all to get on their knees and and say that. I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And every one of them did that. All 50. All 50. That's why we have after school Bible clubs. I'm really proud of you, Rob. As your pastor, you're making a difference. Um, you never know. You know, those are 50 kids. You never know. And just that one day, it would change your life forever. And uh, we're all praying for a revival. And this is how it happens. Amen. God, I mean, this is just this is just <clears throat> awesome. And uh, praise the Lord.